Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the steam underscore API 64 dll missing error. This error should look something like this when showing up on your screen. Now before we begin, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot. And I take a lot of time out of my day to make these fixes for you guys. So it would mean a lot if you guys could support me back. All right. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. All right. So for the first fix, what you need to do is go ahead and reinstall your game. How you can do that is by going ahead and open up Steam. Go ahead and go to library. Then right click on the application and click on uninstall. As you can see, I have already uninstalled my game, so I don't have to. But you have to click on uninstall and then delete to delete the game from your computer. After doing that, what you need to do is go ahead and go to store. Now in the store, go ahead and search for your game, whatever it is, and then go ahead and download it using the simple process. All right. So if that doesn't fix the error for you, what you need to do is go ahead and go into the description and click on the first link there. It will take you to this website right here. Now go ahead and scroll down and then click on download file 64 bit. Now it doesn't matter if your PC is 32 bit or 64 bit. You just have to download this file. Now go ahead and wait for the download to start. After the download is complete, go ahead and open up the file that you just downloaded and export it. So after that's done, go ahead and open up Steam API 64. Now go ahead and open up another file explorer. After opening up another file explorer, go ahead and go to this PC. Then click on local disk C. Then scroll down and find Windows. Open up Windows and scroll down until you find until you find system.32. Now go ahead and paste this in here. Now for the next step, you need to know if your Windows is 32 bit or 64 bit. So if your Windows is 64 bit, you have to copy that exact file into the syswow64 as well. But if you have a 32 bit computer, then you don't need to do that. And we're done. Now you only have to restart your PC by going ahead and go to start and then going ahead and clicking on power and shut down. After restarting your PC, go ahead and try to run the game again and it should be fixed for you. Thank you for watching. And if this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.